As a final application of the chain rule, we will um, derive the connection between the derivatives of inverse functions. So the functions and inverse functions, the uh, are the functions and inverse functions are related, and so are the derivatives. Suppose we have an inverse function, so that f minus one is the inverse of f, and if we compose it with f, then we of course get the identity, right? So for all x is in the domain of f, we get f minus one through f evaluated in x equals x. So if we assume that we know the derivative of f minus 1 or that it exists and we may apply the chain rule and we get the derivative on the left hand side of the equation so we get f minus 1 through f prime equals f minus 1 prime evaluated in fx times the derivative of f which is the inner function the derivative of the inner function. And also we know since this is an identity that the composition of f minus 1 and f in x differentiated is no more than d, d dx of x which equals 1. So we see that the product of the respective uh, derivatives equals 1, so that we see that the derivative of f equals 1 over the derivative of the inverse evaluated in fx. And we may write this differently. If we write y is fx, then we find that this equals 1 over the derivative of the inverse of f evaluated in y. Well, something similar holds if we change the order of f in its inverse, then f through f inverse of y equals y for all y in the domain of the inverse function. in the domain of the inverse function so for any y in the range of f it's the same statement so if we compose, look at the composition and this is a differentiable function and suppose we know that the f inverse uh, prime exists uh, as well as the f prime then we may calculate the derivative by apl application of the chain rule as a product of f prime evaluated in f minus 1 y times the derivative of the inverse evaluated in y. But also this composition f through f minus 1 is identity, so the derivative is 1. And just like before, we find that the derivative of the inverse evaluated in y equals 1 over f prime x. Now, of course, this is the same relation as we found in yellow above.